What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is gonna be a video about what is on my phone, the Galaxy Note 9 for 2019. And uh, let's just jump right into it. First of all, the wallpaper I have, and the wallpaper is a picture that I took uh, at a resort in San Diego, and that's basically the story behind it. Uh, if you want this, guys, let me know. I'll uh, put it down below. I'll put a link if you wanna download it. Uh, other than that, the lock screen is one of my most top prized things. Uh, you can see it's all bubbles and I've done a video on this. I will link this video down below on how you can get this. It's really simple to, to get it um, and I know a lot of you guys like it but basically what it is is uh, a video that I took at CES of this wall and it had like water and bubbles going through it. You can kind of see the CES things in the background and that's what it is. It's I, I love it. It's really relaxing but it's also pretty cool. As for the theme that I'm using, I'm just using the normal basic theme that comes with this phone, it's nothing special. I do have dark mode turned on, which is new to the Samsung One UI. That's the only thing different. As you can see, everything's gonna kind of be dark mode out with the blue backgrounds for the icons. But other than that, dark mode and just a normal uh, theme on there. And for ringtone, this is the ringtone I'm using, which is called Sunset. And then for notification sounds, I'm using Rise. Now let's get into the apps that I have on my home screen. So on the top left here, I do have camera, which is actually the Gcam. Um, if you want to download that, or if you want me to show you how to download it, I can make a video on it, but basically it just gives you access to the Google camera, which is pretty cool. So you get everything from portrait mode to night shot and everything that's in between on here. So if you really are interested in trying out the Google camera on your phone, again, I can make a video on it, but this is, that's what that app is. And stuff, it comes out pretty legit, pretty close to what you get with the Pixel phone. And then in the right, I have my DJI uh, Mimo, which is allows me to use my um, DJI Osmo Pocket, which I haven't been using that much, and plus I need the adapter. I lost the USB-C adapter, and they currently don't sell it, so I haven't been using that app very much. Other than that, I have all my stuff that I use on a daily basis in folders for the most part, so when I go into my read folder, I have a Bleacher Report, which is good for you know getting sports and updates, things like that. Same thing with ESPN. I have news on Android, which I use a lot. This is an app that's gonna give you all kinds of different Android websites, news, and you don't have to go to the website. You can just cycle through this, and if you wanna read an article, just tap on it. It brings you to the article, shows you pictures and all that stuff. I really like this app. I've been talking about this app for years. Definitely worth it, and it's free, which is cool. Next up is Wrestling Inc. It's gonna give me all my wrestling news. I think it's the best one. If you have a better one, let me know, because I love wrestling. Wrestling is one of my favorite uh, act, sports or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Daily Mail Online is good for like kind of news throughout the world, um, kind of gossipy, but I still like it. Gamify is really good. If you're a gamer and you want gaming news, they give legit news on there for like all kinds of gaming news. Have it be uh, alerts that you get or you can click on it and just read articles and stuff in there. It's super legit. I'm always getting alerts on there with uh, different gaming news articles and things. And then lastly, I have TMZ on there for just trashy gossip news. <laughs> so if you love that, you're gonna have that as well. Next, I have music, and on here, I don't use most of these music apps. It's really just podcast, Google Podcasts, which I really, really like. Oops, I heard me say it. I have Google Podcasts on there, and I use this all the time for you know, just mostly wrestling podcasts. Uh, I do like Gimlet Podcast as well. They just got sold to Spotify, if you didn't know. But um, yeah, these are all the podcasts that I either listen to or that I'm subscribed to that I don't listen to. Spotify is my other big thing. Love Spotify. Always listening to different music on here. Uh, if you love music, uh, Spotify is a great, great uh, app to have for streaming all your music that you love. Other than that, I really don't really listen to these or use these other apps on here like YouTube music, play music. Voice recorder, if I'm gonna record a demo for like my music that I like to, I write myself because I used to be a musician. Um, Sirius XM, it's actually my dad's subscription, but sometimes I'll go in there and listen to um, Howard Stern or Busted Out Radio, Busted, yeah, Busted Radio, whatever it is, it's like a wrestling show on there. As for smart, I have Amazon Alexa, which I barely use, Google Assistant, I do use a fair amount, and I use it more when I use Google Assistant, it's really for uh, just 
uh, broadcasting messages from my phone to the rest of the house. Um, I have hue lights, which I, allows me to control my hue lights. Uh, Nest, it allows me to control uh, all my Nest cameras and my Nest thermostat. Google Home allows me to like just control my Google Homes, um, rename my lights, all, all that stuff in there. Uh, Bond allows me to control, and I've done a video on that. Uh, that's a cool app that allows you to turn like dumb things like ceiling fans and air conditioners into smart devices. Blink security camera, Y security cameras, and then Wemo is like a smart plug app. I use that to control some uh, smart uh, plugs that I have. Video, I don't use a ton of these video things on here. Uh, Netflix, occasionally I'll watch like The Office on there on my phone. Um, don't really use Celine TV, that's under my mom's name anyway, but sometimes I'll use it. Twitch, don't really watch a lot of Twitch. WWE, I watch a lot of TV on TV. Again, I don't really use these apps. Shield TV, this is a, a, an app to control your Shield TVs. It's basically just a remote. So if you're looking for a remote for your Shield, this allows you to do that. Um, MB, which is kind of like Plex, but uh, allows you to stream you know, movies and TV shows from a server. HBO Go, I get it free through AT&T. Uh, so Player, which is an IPTV service, 20 bucks a month. If you want to sign up for it, dstreams.net is the website. Um, I enjoy that a lot. Android TV, again, it's just a, it's like Shield TV. It's just a controller for your Android TV device. And then Hulu is going to allow you to, uh, it's just like Netflix, just for TV shows. I don't really use it that much on my phone. These are my Google apps that I have on here. Which ones I don't, uh, I use Gmail a lot in here. Um, Waze and Google Maps when I'm driving around. Subscriber account, I look at this when I'm just looking to get, see what my subscriber account is at. Um, check a couple people out on there. Josh, you're in there as well. Um, Google Photos, I'll go in there and look. Uh, other than that, I don't, YouTube I use a lot as well. Under my social media, I have Facebook, which I don't use as much as I used to in the past. I'm kind of phasing out Facebook. I, I would see myself in a year or two probably not using it at all. Maybe something will change, but otherwise I don't see myself using it. Instagram, I use a lot. Snapchat, I use a lot. Uh, Twitter, I use a lot. Those are my three favorites. And page manager, sometimes I go in there to respond to messages um, for my Greggles TV Facebook page. If you haven't subscribed to my Greggles TV Facebook page, go on there. I'm almost at a thousand. I have like 900 something. Um, Facebook Messenger, not really. Next door boys. I don't really use much. Yelp, I use a lot actually. Uh, we're looking up restaurants and things like that. These are all my banking apps. Uh, pretty self explanatory. Go in there, check my balances, pay my bills, stuff like that. Then you see Duo on there. I do use Google Duo a lot, chat with my family, some of my friends. Uh, that's probably one of my number one uh, communication apps. And then I have games in here. And they're games. Don't really play a lot of games. Occasionally I'll go in here and play a game, but I've got Fortnite installed, PUBG, Candy Crush, one of the new Candy Crushes, I don't know. Trivia Crack, but again, I don't really play any of them. And then at the bottom, I have my phone app, which make calls and stuff like that. I have Google Chrome as my main browser, the Play Store. Viber, which I used to ch chat to uh, family and friends, which is just a uh, communication app that allows you to do chat, tech, uh, chat and video. And then I use Android messages at the bottom right to do all my text messaging apps. And then right here, I have a widget for Google Calendar. It allows you to just basically look at what's on your calendar. And then on the last page, I have some photo editing apps that allowed me to do like thumbnails for my channel, you know, for videos that I do. Other than that, guys, that is what I have on my Galaxy Note 9. So it'll probably be the last video I do about this, what's on my phone for Galaxy Note 9, because I plan on getting the Galaxy S10, and uh, that would, I'd probably get rid of this phone at that point. So let me know what's on your phone or what apps you use that I use that you really love. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you down the road. Peace.